Bridge FTA TV is excited to be able to bring another first to the FTA world. A complete step-by-step -step instructional video of how to do the C-band on the Small Dish project from start to finish. If you have any questions on the C-band project that are not answered by the video, please check out the conical scalar area at fridgefta.info and the Fridge FTA satellite store at store.fridgefta.info. Alright, this is about how your scalar kit will arrive. Start with taking everything out. Bracket, scaler, throw the box aside. That's about what you end up with. We have the BSC 421 C band LNB. This one has a switch on it for the sidecar project, but we won't be using that in this demonstration. Um, to figure out your polarity and skew, you should pop the cover off, look down the throat inside here. You'll see two little pins. Your L and B is going to go in on the dish similar to this. The bottom pin is your vertical. The pin that's off to the side at a 90 degree angle is your horizontal. You might want to mark those on the outside of your L and B for when you align your skew. Start with doing the basic bracket assembly. This bracket is also marked, probably won't show on film, with skew marks. But your bracket's going to go <clears throat> go together like this. Using the two long bolts there. Put them through like that. Screw the nuts. On the bottom. Bottom of the bracket is also slotted to fit the nuts so you don't need, when you do your final tightening, you won't need a wrench and a screwdriver to tighten it down. Leave that loose. Take your L and B. Slide the bracket over the L and B. Set it roughly to your skew. Then you're going to want to tighten it down so it's tight, but so you can still move this to adjust it when you get it on the dish. When you do your final tightening, try to tighten both sides evenly also so you don't have too much pressure on one side of the bracket or the other. About like that. <clears throat> Next thing is the actual scaler. Kit has three little bolts in it. You want to thread them into the holes on the scaler. Don't thread them all the way through because you still have to slide this over your LNB. Now, the final part of the assembly slot A into slot B. 
like your final position the scaler is going to be somewhere near the edge of the LNB. For now, just tighten all three screws by hand. <clears throat> In fact, looking at that, that's probably going to be in too far. Just set it somewhere near the end of the LNB. Nice hand tightening. And at this point, you might want to take off your cover again. Look at your little pins in there. And roughly set your skew. If you're doing this on a motorized setup, you'll want to set to right around zero. Skew isn't the most important part, and that can be adjusted when it's on the dish and you have a signal meter on there. Put your cover back on so you don't lose it. There's your completed assembly. Go out to your dish, remove your KU LNB. Before doing this, you should have lined up on a C and KU satellite using your KU LNB so you know you're spot on on that satellite before doing the C band. Next, install your LNB scalar assembly, checking to make sure everything fits right. Then, install the bolt and the nut. Do one more check, make sure everything is lining up right. Now, tighten down the nut and bolt, being sure it's nice and secure and that you don't have any side to side or up and down play in the scalar assembly. Finally, you're going to want to adjust the position of the LNB in the bracket. You want the LNB back as far as you can away from the dish so it seats up nice with the scaler. Make sure everything is straight and you're almost done. Now hook up your wire from your satellite receiver or from your signal meter. When that is done, do one final check. Make sure everything's secure and lined up. With the basic adjustments we just did, you should be able to hit at least the strongest C-band transponders on certain satellites. The next step is to tune it up. For this you can use either your satellite receiver right at the dish or a satellite meter as I'm demonstrating here. While watching your meter or your satellite receiver, you're going to want to adjust the position of the LNB in and out in the bracket and play with the skew looking for the highest reading. The other adjustment you're going to want to make is to the scaler itself. Play with the in and out position on the LNB while watching your meter or receiver to get the highest possible signal. Also make sure that the scaler is mounted straight on the LNB. Congratulations, you've just successfully 
installed your C-band on a small dish. If you need further information on the project, please visit the Fridge FTA forums at www.fridgefta.info and to get everything you need to do the project in one place, please consider the Fridge FTA store located at store.fridgefta.info.